Hi everyone! For today's video I thought I would make a cute little treat container that I found the pattern to on YouTube and I'll make sure I include the link in this um, post. These are the cutest little things I've ever seen. They're so easy to do. You only need one piece of card or one piece of pattern paper or you could use cardstock as well. Um, one piece of double-sided pattern paper and it makes uh, a little pocket on one side and a little pocket on the other and you could fill the pockets with I put little treats in here but you could also put a card a uh, little card in there as well so this is what we're gonna do today so like I said you just need one piece of 8 by 8 inch uh, pattern paper double-sided and what you're gonna do is you're going to start off by folding it in half, I like to score mine so I get a nice uh, even fold. And I don't have any kind of big scoring tool, I just use my uh, paper trimmer. So you're going to start by scoring it and then folding it like this and giving that little bit of a score uh, with my paper trimmer, trimmer just helped a little, makes it a little easier. Like that. Then once you've done that, you're going to score it. And again, I'm using my paper trimmer because I don't have one of those fancy scoring things. So you're going to, okay, I hope you can see this. You're going to score it here at three and three quarters. So I'm using my, I'm using the uh, ruler on my paper trimmer to let me do that. So three and three quarters on this side. And you're going to do it the same. If you have one of those fancy trimmers you can score it on the same side. I don't so I'm just going to flip it over and score the other side at three and three quarters. So once you've done that, uh, you're just going to, oh, I forgot one more, one more part of it. <laughs> okay. You're going to score along the long part in three quarters of an inch. So, let me turn my trimmer around so I can do that. So three quarters of an inch. Right. My trimmer has a... Uh, line so I can line it right up. And like I said, I'm going to put the link to the original post of how to do this and the lady was extremely clear and her instructions were fantastic. So I'll make sure that post goes, or that link goes in this post. Okay, so there we go. So I've got all my score lines done. And now I'm just going to fold it on the score lines. got all my score um, lines folded. So now you're going to decide which side you want to be the outside pattern paper and then what side you want to be the inside. And I think I want um, the polka dots to be on the outside. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, now let's see if I can remember how to do this. Okay, you fold one side in like that and you fold the other side in like that. So that's what you're going to end up with when you make the first two folds. Then you're going to fold it in half like that. And then you're going to fold one side up. And you could also use your um, bone folder to kind of make those creases a little bit better. And then you're going to fold the other side up just like that. See how easy that is. It's so simple. And like the lady on the other video said, you don't even need adhesive. Because I'll show you how you keep it, keep it uh, together. You just punch a hole and tie some ribbon. So there you go. That's the little pattern of this double pockets. So super simple. Okay, and then I'm going to use my crocodile to make a hole. Okay, make sure I get the right side. And you just punch a hole right at the top. 
There we go. There's the hole. Okay. And then I'm just going to pick some pretty ribbon. I've got a bunch of different ribbons here. Maybe I'll use those two. Those are nice. And I'm going to cut some ribbon and I'll be right back. Okay, so I cut some ribbon. I cut a bunch of ribbon. And I'm just going to string it through the little hole that I made with my crocodile. I got some orange ribbon and some brown. some brown through. I think the different colors of ribbon really make it pretty festive. Some brown ribbon and like one more piece of brown will be pretty. Okay so I've got my ribbon pulled through so I'm just gonna pull it through about halfway. Flip it up and this is another trick I saw right on this uh, video I watched. You take some I'm not sure what the other lady used. I'm going to use this twine. This baker's twine. And I'll put the baker's twine right there. And then put my ribbon right there. And then you just tie it in a knot. And you could use any color, any color twine to match your little box. Or if you just have white, that'll work too. Tie a little knot. I'm just going to trim off the ends. And then I'm just going to trim some of these pieces right here. There we go. So there you go. There's your little box, your little pocket box, I guess you could call it. So then um, I'm going to put something right here to kind of dress it up a little, like I did here. And I made these cute little scallop circle tags, I guess you call them tags, using my Peachy Keen stamps. I used, um, for these little tiny, cute little tiny Halloween characters, I used, put them, just have, where did I put those little guys? Okay, I found them. Alright, so for the little characters, I used this awesome little sweet a stamp set from Peachy Keen Stamps. It's Country Bumpkin Minis by Lori Souther, one of the design team members for Peachy Keen. And her little stamps, little drawings of her little stamps are so adorable. They're so cute. And this set's awesome because it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven different or 11 stamps on here. It's got the um, pumpkin, which is, my, I think, my favorite, in two different sizes. So you've got this size, and then you've got the little, even tinier one. And then you've got the little cowboy snowman in two different sizes. So you've got the turkey, the snowman, the pumpkin, the little goose, the owl on the moon, the cute little funny goblin, little boy, little girl, little cow with a Santa hat, and those are the different um, stamps you have. And then, of course, you've got these two the snowman and the pumpkin in two different sizes. So this is a super set. I love the set. CB10 Country Bumpkin Minis. Adorable. So that's what I used for these. Uh, I've got the little goblin and the pumpkin and I've got the little owl sitting on the moon. And then the boo, I used this set which is also Peachy Keen Stamps. Peachy Keen PK131 Happy Haunting Ghosts and I use that boo that's right there. And this set is super cute too. It's got these little ghost bodies and then these three little faces so you can stamp the different faces on the ghost bodies. It's got two sentiments, Happy Haunting and Boo. This is a great set. I love this set. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the um, little scalloped circle I have here and I'm going to use a little, I'll use a little adhesive. And I like to use extra adhesive because um, I don't want things popping off. So I'm going to use, I used my ATG, but I'm also going to use my um, quick dry, which loves to clog. There we go. Okay. My quick dry as well. And that way it'll be doubly secure. I'll put a little bit at the bottom too. Double secure so it won't pop off. And then I'm just going to put my 
little boo right there and press it down you just have to wait like a minute with the scotch quick dry because it really is quick <laughs> and then it should stick right there on the front and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill it with some treats and the lady in the video um, showed that she I think I'm going to move it down a touch I hate to do that but I think I'm going to there we go move it down just a little bit there we go now the lady on the video there we go I'm going to put a little extra in there so it doesn't come off. Okay. And sometimes if you put your fingers back in there, it helps. Because what happened originally is it stuck to my finger, which means it would have stuck to the back of the pocket. So that way I'd rather have it sticking to my finger than the pocket. Okay. So there's that. And then what I'm going to do is uh, the lady in the video used had Reese's peanut butter cups in her uh, little pockets. I found these Kit Kats, which are my favorite. So I got some Kit Kats and I got some strips of paper and the paper can be uh, as far as the width goes I think this is two or this is a uh, an inch and three quarters nope an inch and a half so an inch and a half wide by seven inches long and it really could be a little wider if you wanted to but that's how wide I made it so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take my strip and I'm going to use, I want this side to show. So I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to put a little bit of adhesive right there and knock everything over. And then I'm going to lay down my Kit Kats like this. Like that. And then I'm going to put a little bit of adhesive right here. Then fold this side up and fold that side up to meet it. And there we go. So there, I covered my candies, and then I'm going to just take my candies and put them right in the little pocket, just like that. Perfect. And then I'll do the same for the other side with the other candies, and that's it. That's perfect. And then I'll just show you these again, these other ones that I made. And like I said, you could put a card in there, you could put a little card in there. You could put other kinds of candies. You could put a little toy. Maybe if you found a little toy for your child, you could put a little toy in there. So it really is quite versatile. You could use it for lots of different things. Before I finish this video off, I just wanted to show you um, what you could do to make these treat tag boxes if you don't have double-sided paper. Um, I, do, I did use double-sided paper for uh, this one and uh, a couple others that I've done, but I wanted to use another uh, Halloween uh, pattern paper that I have, and it's not double-sided. This, this paper is not double-sided. So what I did was I took this uh, stamp, this PK129 size A2 candy background stamp from Pichahine Stamps, and it's a super cute little stamp with little candy corn and little gumdrops and other little kinds of wrapped candies. I took this stamp and I, before I assembled my box, I stamped the blank white side of my pattern paper. So the opposite side, I stamped it. And I used a pale green um, chalk ink to stamp this. So I basically turned my pattern paper into double-sided pattern paper. So this is an alternative to if you do not have um, double-sided pattern paper. It's super cute and it gives a little even that more personal touch to your to your project. So there you go. There's our little little tag. Oh, and then this is um, acorns and leaves. This, these are two that I thought would be perfect to do this with. Um, this one is PK128 size A2 oak leaves and acorns background. So these are two Peach Keen um, background stamps that you could use to turn your pattern paper into double-sided pattern paper. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you liked my video. See you next time. Bye-bye.